Did you know you can run stuff in AWS for free? That's right, free. Today we're gonna to go over setting up an AWS account from scratch and talk about the AWS free tier and what services you can use with your free subscription. So follow me, let's get started. The very first thing we're gonna to do today is walk through signing up for an AWS account. To do this, go to aws.amazon.com forward slash free in your web browser, then click on the create a free account button in the middle of your screen. On the next screen, you'll need to enter your email address for your root user account. The root is the account owner and it's the one you'll need to set up your account. Next, create an AWS account name. Don't worry if you pick the wrong one, you can always change it later. After that, click the verify email address button and then open up your email and you'll need to provide the one-time passcode that AWS sent you on the next screen. On the next page, you'll need to create a password for your AWS root account and enter it twice. Make sure to take note of this password and keep it somewhere safe. Click the continue button when you're ready to advance to the next screen. After you've verified your email address, you'll need to fill out your contact information. The first question is asking if this is for a business or a personal account. Pick the option that best suits your situation and then proceed with filling out your name, phone number, and full address. You'll also need to click the checkbox to accept the AWS terms and conditions. The next page is the billing section where you'll be asked to enter a valid credit card or debit card. This is how AWS will bill you for any services that are outside the free tier. But don't worry, we will go over what is covered in the free tier and what isn't here shortly. AWS will also use your credit or debit card to verify your identity as dictated in this paragraph here. So you may get charged a very small amount to verify your identity. Once you are done, click the verify and continue button. After this point, AWS may require a phone verification and will either send you a text message or call you on the phone. Enter the verification code sent to you and click verify code and continue. On the following screen, you'll select the support plan. Now, if you're just getting started out in AWS, then the free support plan is the way to go. On the last screen, you'll confirm all your information, and if it all looks good, then you'll click the Create an Account button. You should then see the Congratulations screen. AWS is now in the process of activating your new account. At this point, you can click the button to open the AWS Management Console, and boom! There you go. You now have your own AWS account. So now, let's talk about the AWS Free Tier. If you go back to aws.amazon.com forward slash free, you'll see all the free tier offers. Let's go over some of the most notable ones now. The one you'll probably use the most is EC2, which is basically a server in the cloud. The free tier offers 750 hours per month for 12 months. So basically you can run one EC2 server for free for a year. The most common EC2 instance in the free tier is the T2 micro platform. However, there are a few others now. When using the Launch Instance Wizard, pay special attention to the instances that are listed as free tier eligible. If you don't see this, then you will have to pay extra. Now let's look at another free tier offering. You can use 5GB of Amazon S3 storage to archive files. This is good, but what's even cooler is the Amazon CloudFront offer. You get 1TB of data transfer out per month, 10 million HTTP or HTTP requests per month, free SSL certificates, and all the features are available with no limitations. Now before you start exploring out on your own, I would highly recommend creating a zero budget billing alarm. You can do this by typing budgets in the search bar in AWS Management Console and select the one that you see here. What this does is it'll send you an email alert anytime spending goes over one penny. That way in case you go over, you can stop whatever you're doing right away and save on costs. So as you can see, there are quite a few options and services available for you to use and demo out with the AWS free tier. Today we walked through setting up an AWS account and talked about the various AWS free tier offerings. So now that you have your AWS account set up, what do you plan on using it for? Let me know in the comments below. Also feel free to check out my free ebook on cloud networking. The link for that is in the video description. And finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated when future videos come out. Until next time, friends, have a good one.